Hey, so if you're thinking about using one of these in your training, you need to watch this video because there are some things you need to know about this. Like one, you can't, you can't talk and do this at the same time. Wow, that sucks. Hey everybody, what's happening? I'm Coach Brian, strength coach here with criticalbench.com and look at this cool thing. Yeah, it's a Elevation Training Mask 2.0. Uh, we're not un unboxing this, uh, even though this is brand new, we haven't used it yet. Um, I just wanted to give you just the basic information on this thing right here, the training mask. All right, so as you can tell, we're really excited to uh, use this. Not really, we have the, we've had this in my office for about two months now. That's how excited we are to actually start using this. So, Elevation Training Mask. This is one of those things that has received a lot of controversy the past couple years. Uh, it's just because um, it's called Elevation Training Mask. So the whole idea, oh stop, do not return to the store, they can help. Hey, so again, I'm not here to promote Elevation Training Mask. This is just the most common Elevation uh, Training Mask that's out there. So it looks cool, it looks awesome actually. I mean, it, you've seen people in the gym wear these things. Um, oh man, I gotta put it together. I don't wanna put it together. So let's, let's clean it up a little bit. I don't know why all these things are there. It doesn't matter. So Elevation Training Masks, they're, when, these, when these things first came out, uh, I don't know when it was, it was probably maybe 15 years ago, they had the, they had the label of High Altitude Training, hence the name. Elevation training mask. However, all the controversy that came out, all the research that came out saying that these were ineffective to produce the same effect as high altitude training. None of the information on this box talks about high altitude training, the effects of training at a higher altitude. All it talks about is increased athletic performance, helps improve tolerance for high intensity exercise, helps improve ana ana uh, anaerobic threshold, facilitates improvements in endurance. All that is proven, but what isn't, pro or what is proven not to work is that it gives the same effect as high altitude training. However, I'm sure the company here with Elevation Training Mass, that's their staple, that's their go-to name, but they had to rebrand everything to, um, to keep it consistent with science. So the whole idea behind these Elevation Masks is you wear it like this. Yeah, uh, yeah. I look pretty cool. I sound even awesome. But is this thing actually does it make any sense? So we got this at a discount because uh, we just found it in the clearance section. So we're like, hey, let's grab this because they do uh, work. But if you if you don't want to buy one of these, go buy a straw. Kind of does the same thing. Restricts your breathing. That's all this thing does. Even though this looks cooler, it sounds cooler. It fits to your face. But when I was in college, my professor said, hey, instead of using an altitude training mask, grab a straw, do, do that. Try to do some uh, wind gate sprints or some air bike sprints or some rowing intervals with a straw in your mouth. You're gonna hate life. So this is pretty much the best alternative to that. However, these do have uh, a good place because again, they're fixed, they restrict, restrict the nose, you don't have to worry about clenching your jaw and things like that to keep, it, to keep it in place. But the whole idea behind this is to restrict your breathing, which is gonna help kind of overstress and overwork the lungs and the heart and all the breathing muscles. In other words, it's gonna help that whole respiratory and the cardiac system work harder in a good way to get it stronger. That's the idea behind these. Science does prove that they do work, but the effect of high altitude training is that it doesn't work. It's not an effective way to train at a high altitude because you're still breathing the same type of oxygen saturated uh, air in your lungs. This doesn't change the oxygen content at all by any means. So my, my problem with these um, is that when you train with these, you're gonna train at a deficit. So what I mean is that you're not gonna get as much oxygen in your lungs, especially if you're not new to these. So a lot of people that just put them on, they crank out an entire workout, but yet everything that they, at that, that they do is at a sub max level. Even, it might even be a half of a max level, but yet they're still, their heart rate and their lungs are breathing at a max level. So your work output is gonna be much less 
with this than it would be without it. So what you need to do is build up a tolerance. Even the manual recommends progressing toward this. Maybe just wear it around the house or, um, or, or just go for a walk. Even just wearing it for 20 minutes, you're gonna have to focus on your breathing. Definitely don't go run a 5K with this right off the bat or do some heavy interval training at the gym with this on your first go around. There is a break in process. Take your time, follow the instructions because again, the whole idea to get in the gym is to train hard, but you don't wanna hurt your training if you're not smart about it. You wanna build up to where the levels say. So elevation training mask, even though it has nothing to do with elevation, it is a good type of respiratory training that you can use, but again, at what cost? There's always a risk involved if you're gonna use this. Uh, I know a lot of people that do use it and they recommend it, but at the end of the day, it's all based on what you decide to use it with, but make sure you follow the instructions on how to use it properly. So that's it. Elevation training mask, we recommend it. We don't recommend it at the same time. It's really up to you. So other than that, that's, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Hey, if you've got a comment or a question, or maybe you've had experience with this, post it out in the comment section below. Love to hear what you have to say about that. That's it. I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.